right, you guys. Today is the day that we decorate for Halloween. If you watched my previ previous video, you saw that I went ahead and cleaned everything. Before that, we jump into the decorating part. We have our candles burning. I already have my cup of coffee. We got some Disney music in the background. Right now it's on pause while I talk. We're going ahead and fill some of these containers with some yummy candy. I also have some spider webs and we got some spooky fabric that we're gonna use. We got Mr. Bones back there that we're gonna use. Probably in the next video because it's gonna be outside. And that's pretty much it, you guys. If y'all want to watch me decorate, go ahead and stay tuned. And let's jump into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. I ended up just throwing some of this spider webs over this topiary and pushing it over on the Mickey Mouse and ended up filling it with some candy corn and the caramel apple lollipops and I have my wicked apple candle burning off in the corner. I just ended up filling that so I'll probably go going ahead and picking up another one. So I do have the coffee carousel little container holder. I just went ahead and took out all the stuff and filled it with this witch's brew container. I just thought it was more Halloween-ish. So I wanted to add that. I ended up adding the three tier pumpkins off in the corner and just had that. This is a spooky candle and I had the Hocus Pocus mug. I don't imagine me using it so I just stuck it on the counter and stuck that off to the side. I also have another mug that I went ahead and stuck off on there. I also forgot that I had a mummy and I filled that with a little piece of caramel. This looks super cute together. What do y'all think? This cauldron that I got at at home, I just decided to put it off in the corner. I wanted to add some of the uh, spider webs on there to give it more of like an eerie look on there. Um, this is the first time I've actually had to mess with it, so it took me a couple attempts to actually get it the way I want it to look. So this is that spooky fabric I ended up throwing over on the entertainment center. I ended up actually taking it off. I didn't film um, because I just didn't like the way it was looking. I ended up throwing it over on the cabinet. I'll end up showing y'all in a cleaning video on how that ends up looking. And I ended up moving around a couple of items. Um, but that's the way I wanted it to look. I, I didn't want it to look perfect. I wanted it to look kind of like sloppy and just thrown on there. But I just, it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. I'm just throwing everything back on there that I had originally in my everyday decor, my picture frames, and then I have a pumpkin that I have gotten um, last year or the year before from Home Goods. This one right here, and I ended up adding um, the Mickey Mouse pumpkin. I added my little gnome and the candy corn and a pumpkin, a little small black and white pumpkin. <music> These are the pillows from Michaels. It's a bunch of Hocus Pocus, the spooky one, and then I have the pumpkin one off on the other couch. And I I have this candle stand off in the corner by the front door, and I just wanted to add a couple of spider webs on there to give it more of the eerie look like the entertainment center.
I'm just adding some spider webs across the mirror. I wanted to give it more of a like a abandoned bathroom look. <laughs> I threw in some spider webs and a bowl and the little skeleton it makes it look like he was taking a bubble bath. I also threw some over on the candles as well. Like I said, just keeping this nice and simple. And this is the turnout on how everything looks. I ended up changing it a little bit afterwards, but I will show y'all in the next video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and if you have any suggestions, please comment below. I hope y'all have a great weekend. I love y'all, and see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.